Something that is definitely not optional for this class is that you are aware of Bloom's taxonomy and Webb's depth of knowledge. So if we ask you, tell me about what Bloom's taxonomy or tell me about Webb's depth of knowledge, you should be able to tell us that. You should be able to tell us some keywords and explain the hierarchical structure. There are four levels of, of Webb's depth of knowledge, and then there's multiple levels for, for blooms. They've got a whole triangle thing, and there's revised blooms. So really, you've got three things you need to be aware of, Bloom's taxonomy, revised Bloom's taxonomy, and web depth of knowledge, and really have a good grasp of that. There's just no excuse uh, for not knowing that, not being aware of what they are, and understanding what you're supposed to do with it. And so, in a nutshell, it's just levels of critical thinking or application. Um, at a base level, it's, the kids don't require a lot of thinking. It's more memorization, low skill levels. And we want to, I mean, you're not going to get away with that, from that. There's going to be some amount of remembering and low level skills that just needs to take place in any course. Um, but then you build up to a create and you construct new knowledge. Um, which is really difficult to apply your learning to a new situation. So you don't need everything up here at that level either. There should be, you know, the four um, web depth of knowledge, you know, you should be doing all four all year. It, it shouldn't all be one or the other. And don't feel like you're a terrible teacher because today's lesson is, is at web depth of knowledge level one. Some things should. Should the majority of it be? Probably not. You need to be intentionally planning. So that comes into our using technology intentionally, creating lesson plans intelligently, intentionally, um, intelligently and intentionally, um, is that when you're doing your lesson plans, you have these guides, the Web's Depth of Knowledge and Bloom's Taxonomy next to you, and you say, okay, well, what I'm asking the kids to do, which level is that at? What can I do to make that at a higher level? Is it appropriate to be at a higher level? Is that something I'm trying to do? You know, sometimes it's just a vocabulary activity, and it's, and it's going to be at a remembering not, uh, level, a safety quiz in a, a shop class. You can be at a remembering level. We don't want them to construct new knowledge on how to use a bandsaw. Um, so that's, that's okay, but it shouldn't be what you're doing all the time. So as you look over all of your lesson plans and things that you're doing, you're like, wow, I'm doing a, a lot of low-level Bloom's taxonomy, a lot of lower-level web depth of knowledge. I need to start bumping this up and having some level three and level four activities of web depth. So you need to know what those are, and those should be expressly listed in your lesson plans and things that you do for this course.